just want to read verbatim what is in the private chat right now. Come on. Definitely not the right recap, but the other one wasn't in there. Question mark, question mark, question mark. You say come on, like I'm exposing something. You think these scum bums watching every Planet Scum show aren't going to recognize that you played the same recap two weeks in a row? You really think I'm exposing something there? I'll tell you what just happened. What the watch that recap and went, am I losing my fucking mind? Why do I remember every one of these clips word for word? <laughs> and I could have sworn Rob Hubel was at least two weeks ago. And I went, I guess, I don't know, brain soup. I guess brain soup. No, it's bad. That's a good game show. It's called, am I losing my mind one year into a pandemic or did Patrick fuck up? Excuse me. Ah! Yeah, hello everybody. Hello. Hello everybody. I'm sorry you caught me in a vulnerable moment. Threading up my vest. Uh welcome to the George Lucas talk show, a live taping of a very normal TV talk show. Uh I am Watto, the flying space shoe slash announcer slash warm-up comic slash sidekick. So I'm here to just warm up the crowd a little bit, but also I'm going to keep this warm up tight because I have to be honest. I want to watch the fucking Golden Globes. I'm looking for my remote. I can't find where it is. I'm waiting for the show to go to the crawl so I can find that remote and turn it on and give this show what it truly deserves. 25% of my attention. Who here has ever been to a live TV show taping before? Good. Ha 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 ha. Who here has ever been to? Uh, George Lucas talk show before. Good. Ha 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 ha. Watto makes some jokes about emojis because, of course, you're the live audience, but we're not in the same physical space, so we can't hear you laughing or cheering. So you need to show your support through the live chat, but also through Twitter. Ha 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 ha. Some kind of joke. I don't know. Watto probably invokes something bad that happened in the last week of the news. <sighs> Let's look at the hashtags. That's the other way. Hashtag Americadam Grapali. Hashtag episodes two and four and six. Those are the ones with the happy endings. Hashtag Luke, I am your dirty grandpa. Hashtag Iron Man 3, Revenge of the Sea. Hashtag Amara Rachel Grisetti. Hashtag West Dark Side of the Four Story. Oh, Jesus. Hashtag I just met a girl named Mon Monthma. I guess, I mean, she's got an M name. Hashtag Shazam to attack the clones. Let's just start the fucking show, right?
George Lucas. Hello, I'm George Lucas, creator of Star Wars. Welcome to the George Lucas Talk Show. Um, we realize that uh, right now the Golden Globes are happening. And uh, it's a big night. And we thank you for, for if you're watching this live and not on the uh, on the YouTube later, we want to thank you for choosing uh, this show over the the popular award ceremony. Watto. Where the fuck did I put my remote? Watto? I'm looking for the fucking remote control. Right. I was so. watching the Muppet show right here on my couch until 5 o'clock in the morning, and right. I don't remember where I put my fucking remote. Was it on the floor, maybe, or on the couch? Oh, or... I'm looking on the floor. Okay. I'm just uh, spitballing ideas. Is it on the ceiling? George said, no, it's not on the ceiling. Well, saying it's it on the floor isn't helpful. You haven't seen Watto's floor. The issue is that there are too many things on the floor. All right. Is it one of the things that, that uh, you're, you're looking for on the floor? Is it among those things? Yes, George. It is the thing I am looking for. All right. It, well, is it? are we certain it's on the floor? It might be up on the sofa under one of those cushions. I looked. All right. Is this what the show is tonight? Is this what we're going to do all night? Is that's, that what is, that's none of your concern. Your job is to produce, huh? not to dictate content. Hey, I agree. You're right. I George. found the whip. I found the whip. All right. Um, George, how are you doing? How's your week been, George? What do you need the remote for right now? I want to watch the Golden Globes. Well, it's just Tina, Tina and Amy uh, talking on different coasts, making jokes. I like jokes! Although I'm not Watto, come sit with us, Watto. Come sit with us. I'm not sitting until I find the remote. Oh, no, I was on delay. There's other things happening now. Oh, so you're watching the Globes? Yeah, I didn't lose my remote. I got it right here. I don't have cable, Watto, so we're in the same boat. I don't either. I was going to watch it through the NBC app. Oh, sure. All right. Try, George, how uh, what's that? What did, what did you, you do? On Sling? Why don't you watch it on Sling? Can you watch it on Sling? I don't have Sling, George. Yeah, but you can download it. It's an easy download. What the? Are you the new spokesperson for Sling? What the fuck are you talking about? Absolutely, didn't, absolutely not. I'm absolutely not. I'm just offering you options. I, I don't like seeing you in pain, Watto. That's the reason I didn't feature you in episode three. I don't like George, seeing you in pain. There is one central issue which is me not being able to turn my TV on. I have the remote for the Apple TV. I have the ability to get the app. I can't turn on the TV. And you now in the process of rummaging, I turned off my light. What? There's no button on your TV, Wano? No. I mean, that's the direction we're heading, Patrick. A buttonless TV. That's the future that Steve Jobs envisioned. Don't act that... like I'm weird for having a buttonless TV. The future yeah. that liberals want, George. George, well, how was your week? What did you do this week? Um, I'm not sure I can talk about it. I was working on some new Star Wars scripts or just new Star Wars shows. Oh, wow, that's very impressive. Uh, yeah. did, now, are these approved by by Disney or are these just it's a mix? Own? It's a mix. They got me in the mix for uh, Andor. And, oh, uh, sure. George, yeah. I think people are confused about that. I think IMDb says that because they are based on cre characters that you created, but you're saying the opposite. Well, whether or not what I'm writing ends up being what they produce, I'm writing some episodes of it, and I'm also sure. writing some shows of my own. Okay. I never That's stopped. Good. I never stopped writing Star Wars stuff. Sure. That's it. Watto, can you come back so we can intro our guests? Because we have some good guests today, Watto. Tell the guests to type their intro in the private chat while I try to make some Hail Mary passes for the TV. All right. So uh, there's uh, to our guests, I'm just speaking to the guests right now. One thing that we yeah. like to do is if you go into the private chat, uh, we let the guests decide exactly how they would like to be introduced um, rather than us uh, providing some sort of like uh, intro copy that you don't have any say in. We like you to say, yeah. this is how I want you to introduce me. It can be silly. It can be sincere. It's entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Wada will read whatever you type. You can also sometimes guess will make him say silly things because we we pledge that he will say whatever you type. Yeah. Um, 
obviously there are guardrails on that. Uh, if, don't type hate speech. He won't say that. But I'm sure we have two very nice guests who would never do that, even even as a, a silly joke. Um, and Patrick, did I cover? Uh, uh, did I miss anything? I think, yeah, no, I think you got it all, George. I think we're nope. 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 What? What did I miss? You forgot the third option. What's the third option? <laughs> the intro can be silly. That yeah, is option no, I one. Said silly. The intro can be sweet. That oh, is sweet. option two. Right. What um, is option three? It could be a little bit of both, like Barry Levinson's Levinson Avalon. Avalon. It can be a little funny and a little sweet. Wada, we got one intro. Second okay. one, I, I think is coming in in a second. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. She, right. Listen, you just type whatever you want. It can be a it, yeah. Look at this. We got it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Great. We got both of them, Wada. I cannot explain how sincerely upset I am right now, but it is my great privilege, Grogrus and Gragras, to introduce to the show our first guests. They are famous for playing an iconic role in a movie that hasn't come out yet and an unknown role in a movie that doesn't come out for two more years. <laughs> Rachel Ziegler and... <Hey. laughs> Let me get this right. Let me get this right. I want to get this right. Sorry, Rachel, just hold on one second. That's I'm right. trying to get Rachel, this right. Rachel, don't say anything. Just hang on there for one second, Rachel. Patrick, let's keep clapping in slow motion silently. We can practice okay. our losing faces for the Golden Globe. Okay. Sorry, I just had to do a Google search to confirm what this guest had typed out. Yes. Our mm -hmm. next guest, and this is verbatim what they typed in the private chat for their intro. All lowercase, Adam <laughs> Pally, and an emoji of a person in a motorized wheelchair. <laughs> Representation at its finest. Yes. There it is. It was, the, the detail is so rich on this emoji, it was hard to make out what it was. It's not nuanced. Yeah. A motor, I didn't even realize it was motorized when I selected it. You thought it was just a regular one? That's yeah. what Google told me. Google refers oh, to it as person in the motorized wheelchair. On Emojipedia, that's the result I got. <laughs> that's great. Thank you for having me. How welcome, are you guys welcome. doing? Yeah, thank welcome you. To the show. I'm doing, um, you know, I'm doing shitty. I think probably like everybody. <laughs> yeah. Right. There it is. There it is. That's it. Rachel, thanks scale everyone. Of, <laughs> scale, scale of one to ten shittiness, Rachel. Where are you? Oh, uh, like a seven point five, I think. Oh, okay. the remote has been okay. located. So now I'm at an eight. Okay. <laughs> I, I have to say, I have to say, I appreciate this because I feel like a lot of our guests come on and they either pretend that they're doing well or they kind of go like, you know, I like to guess that right off the bat, admit if you're not doing shit to your associate. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I am. I am wondering, like, so like, you and George are both openly watching the Golden Globes right now. Instead of hosting. Not, right. not yet. I'm yeah. loading it up, but yes, go on. You're loading it. <laughs> right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, because well, we have a we, we have skin in the game because Mandalorian That's could it. win Best TV Drama. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. That, that'd be exciting. That would be exciting. Yeah. yeah. Now, Pally, yeah. Pally, if they win, do you get do you get one of the awards? Um, I don't. Do you get that? I don't. I, I doubt. I, no, I don't think so. I, I get, get an email. I get to know. I get to know deep in my heart that I'm a small part. Yeah. Of that that team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, which I think is like most important. But no, I don't get like a. No, I don't even think it counts if like the Mandalorian were to be nominated for SAG award. I don't even think that my part would be sure. part of the ensemble even. But normally, yeah. see, normally, if you were wearing a mask and we didn't see your face on the show, people would say, "Well, of course you're not part of it." But the Mandalorian wears a mask most of the time, so you're no different than the lead actor on that show. That's the letter I wrote to the Academy. Uh, that <laughs> yeah. was my main point about it was that, um, especially because what I was going for was best um, best star, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I, you know, I, 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 I even wrote, like, "I've seen Will Arnett win this award for less." Right now. <laughs> Well, because you 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 abused uh, Baby Grogu, uh, you were uh, uh, cruel to him. 
Yeah. Well, no. I mean, my character was, yeah. Yes. We yes. That's actually, what I mean. Yes, of course. Yes. I know it's not real. You didn't really. No, I was actually very nice to all the puppeteers and everybody, you know. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm saying that was one of the very dramatic things that happened on the show. And yeah, now people it's a were. Drama. People were not thrilled about it, I would say. It was, um, it was, uh, it wasn't received universally as, as like funny as I thought it would be. Right. Uh, now, can I say, I, Patrick, I just sent you a photo. Yes. Adam, you're being very <laughs> modest and you're downplaying your involvement on the show, saying I'm just a guest star. You did get your own action figure. I did get my own action figure, yes. You are um, allowed to say that is an action figure of you. Thank you. That means a, a whole lot to me. Um, I, I will correct you and say I, I believe that that is actually... Jason Sudeikis. <laughs> I mean, who fucking I never, you buy, you I never carried. Yeah. No, it's great. It's great. You you buy two of them. You take the bag off one, and then you pose one guy punching the bag, and that's you. <laughs> there it is. That's what I tell my kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that, so that's Jason Sudeikis there. I think so. I don't want to mm. like look. I love yeah. to have an action figure, and I do believe someday I will. As, right. as a goal of mine, Patrick, I've told you that. Inevitable. But yeah, I, inevitable. I, I, uh, I don't, I can't take credit for that one. That would be well. Uh, and perhaps this is an unfair question to ask, but do you think in order to get an action figure, you need to make your Ted Lasso? Uh, he set you up. <laughs> don't, we, don't we need to see whatever the Adam Pally equivalent of a Ted Lasso is? I think you're probably. Uh, I think you're probably right about that, George. Uh -huh. um, it's hard, you know, like the industry, I have, you know, um, been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not saying that, that anyone's journey is better or worse or easier, but um, there are certain things that afforded Jason the opportunity uh, to make a show like, <laughs> sorry. Like it's a safe space. It's a safe space. A Adam, you need to understand. It's nice that you gave a sincere answer, but George and I have an ulterior motive today. We want to become Ted Lasso influencers. Watto and George were talking this week about how much we both love Ted Lasso, and we saw some other people on social media got a nice swag box. They got some biscuits. They got the jersey. They got Wait, the yes, sign. because I right? also got a screener and I got a team photo. Where's my exactly. jersey? Exactly, right. So you can Justice join for team. Jason. Where is my justice for Jason today? Give me right, one this second. Is what we got. Grayson, do you have yours? Can you access Tell it? me, Adam. Rachel, go get it. Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, get it. This, <laughs> is, this is worth it. This is worth it. Yes. Everybody get their lassos. Because right now we know that two of us only got, three of us only got the photo and the screener. And George also has a little toy lasso, but that didn't come with the package. No. What no, we want is, is the full box. I didn't get lasso. I'm so mad I didn't get lasso. I got so many of like, uh, I got. I don't need the five bloods. It's on Netflix, you know. Well, Patrick, Patrick, this is obviously a guild thing, and the Rat Guild of America doesn't. Where is send my jersey, screen. Jason oh. Vegas? <laughs> yes. Give us Where the jersey. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no. no! What's this? Oh, no. Tell me <laughs> what is <laughs> happening. No! Ali got oh, the box. Oh. Ali got the box. Where? <laughs> no! He got, the biscuit. he got the mug. You got everything. You have it all. Oh, no, I God. fully believe this was sent to me by Jason as a <laughs> as a shot across the bow of my ship. Hey, look. <laughs> if he wants to big dog us, he can big dog us as long as we get the box. He's allowed to come on this show, tell us we're fucking garbage, that we suck, that we'll never make anything as good as Ted Lasso. But he's got the. And you know what the, the worst part? You know what the worst part of this box is? They send what? a little milk bar, a little pink carton for milk bar, and yeah. inside that is a. Can you see this? Hang on, hang is on. a. Are we doxing someone? Yeah, we're doxing someone. <laughs> David Chang. <laughs> I love Ted Lasso so much. Wait, what's the bomb say? I wish I, I was more like Ted. He wishes. He's making, making world class. Yeah. Now, wow. you know I think that's fucking <laughs> bullshit. Ooh. Okay, you know how yeah. many people write "I like something" on Twitter? <laughs> you got to send yeah. it to me in a box. 
There are very, I will say this, relatively speaking, there are very few physical tweets that exist in the world. You just destroyed one of them. Uh-huh. Wait, George, I don't want Jordan it. They Mono. should exist in the world. And they got some balls. Ted Lasso's got some balls to have David <clears throat> Chang send me. David Chang, one of the world-class chefs, bake a biscuit. <laughs> yes. Yes. And then send I want it that to biscuit. Me. I want that biscuit so badly, so badly. You're getting offended by having the biscuit. Oh, okay, live <laughs> review, live review, live Here review. Here we go. What are we thinking? It's fucking terrible. <laughs> it's dusty. You know what? I've had better old biscuits. Uh-huh. Can I ask a review. question? How long have yeah. you had it for? I'm eating it pretty fresh. I've only had about a month. <laughs> Well, yeah, it doesn't matter how uh, quickly you're eating it relative to when you brought it on camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just saying. Wow. This goes above and beyond swag boxes. This is just a personal insult. <laughs> I, I, I would do anything up. to be insulted in that way. I'm begging to be insulted. Now, and Rachel, I'll send you're it to you. Now you, want the, you, want the, you want the mug? You want the biscuit? Well, look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We framed I need to hear it. You say it. I need to hear you say it. We word. framed the photo of the team, okay? Where's my biscuits? Yeah, I didn't Rachel, frame it. Rachel, I think if you tweeted, I want the Ted Lasso biscuits, <laughs> you would get the Ted Lasso You know, biscuits. I forget my power in that sense sometimes. You're totally right. You're totally yeah. it's right. It's like one time I did that about Time Warner and it worked out. There you go. Now, okay. Jason Mono, I think you guys could tweet those David Chang tweets verbatim. Patrick, I'm way ahead of you. I'm four tweets <laughs> into the David Chang thread. Okay. How do I? I'm way ahead of you. Good. Oh my uh, God. Is it a mug and a biscuit? Is there anything else? No, there was like tea? um, tea, tea, and some like gummy. And it was David uh, Chang. Mm-hmm. David Chang. <laughs> right, is there anything else you, other than the mug? Do? The mug and the biscuit. Are you drawing, and the are you drawing of the what King. you look like? <laughs> are you drawing a cop? This no, is no, like I just you, want a list. I, I want a... the mug, I want the biscuit, this, I want the this, physical this copy of the David like, Chang tweet. It feels like I was assaulted by the Ted Lasso gift box. <laughs> and I came to you, the officer, and you're like, tell me exactly what was in there. <laughs> oh, just one day animated film. This is a personal attack from Ted Lasso. Oh. Yeah. Rachel, yeah. did you get yeah. any more screeners? Were there any other exciting things that got sent to you besides just the, the, the group photo? This is actually my first screener ever that I've ever oh, received. Wow. Um, and it's the only one I've ever received. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I'm excited about it. So, you know. If you screeners are all digital now. You need you- the Two, let me know. Mar, I will, yeah, I, I will be emailing you shortly about yeah, getting right. my copy of the Croods. Mm-hmm, sure. Yeah, I cannot you, live you without my a, Croods, too. You can't get something like this digitally. Yeah. It's too nice. <laughs> right. Yeah. You got to put it in a frame. No. Yeah. No, no I, 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 we should I call it out. Early to ask this question, Rachel, what's your, what's your Ted Lasso going to be? Because mm. every, I think, I believe, and I believe it's in the spirit of the show that Every everyone gets eventually. Everyone you find has what a Ted Lasso. lasso everyone has mm-hmm. a Ted Lasso. Everyone's What's got a Lasso. In them? What if I made my Ted Lasso and I don't even know it? Yeah. What if I? What if? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's possible. Do you think uh, Champagne Hill could be your Ted Lasso? Yeah. What do you think I my was... Ted Lasso is? That's what's in my opinion. That's what I want to know. Uh, We've known each other for a long time now, about twenty six minutes. Uh-huh. What do you think my Ted Lasso is? I mean, let, can I can I throw you a pit? You absolutely can. If I'm looking, if I'm stepping back and looking at your career in the macro and trying right. to figure out what it's all been building up to. Exactly. Right. I would say West Shazam story. That West, feels to yeah. me like mm. that's yeah. You think I'm Ted mixed? Lasso I'm mixed with both. You know, that really that it's really encapsulates like everything I've ever done. Somehow yeah. you did it. Right. You know, it, there's I mean, so much that I've done in my career, and you yeah. were able to just like that's your mind. Yeah, well, I think you're even kind of reducing my mind a little bit because <laughs> I'm not just summing up what you've done; I'm summing up what you have yet to do. It's so true. Wow. Yeah. Like you are contractually obligated, but have not yet done. 
And that's now, life. Now, Joe, Joe Kudas in the chat is saying Adam's Ted Lasso is the CBS Late Show episode. Mm. Yeah. They said that that one episode. <laughs> yeah. You did one. Thank you. you did did one. One. The complete series. Yes. Yes, the complete series. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, uh, um, you know, I, I prefer to think of it like this to answer your question honestly. I, I, I'd say that rather I'm focused rather on doing my Ted Lasso and more on my uncut gems. How's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Everyone's got an uncut gems in them too. Yeah. Right. Right. Although they have a di very different, I, I think you could have both because the thing is a Ted Lasso mm -hmm. is the thing that makes people feel like, Oh, good to be alive. I feel it, it gives me mm -hmm. a sense of hope and optimism and uncut mm -hmm. gems is sort of like, Oh boy, that was that was really intense. Like it's sort I'm of like, anxious, yeah. <laughs> I think you're. Un I think let's not deprive you. Of, let's not make this an either or. I think no, you have no. an Gems in you and a Ted Lasso. Mm. I like to think. I mean, I I did my best on that in Champagne Hill, um, and less people saw that than like shorts oh, there at is. a gas station. Oh, that's sure. nice. Finally, <laughs> that's nice. Um, let's but, but let's, I, let's not make I it Ted Lasso. That, let's let's let Adam pick a different first letter or last letter in Ted. Would you rather not be because Ted Lasso? That's Sudeikis. You don't want to just be in Sudeikis fan art. It, would you be Ned Lasso or <laughs> Ted Lasso or Ted, Ted Lasso? Ted Lasso. Yeah, I Zed. think I'd be Jed. I think I'd be Jed Jasso. <laughs> Jed Jasso. Jed Jasso. So okay. true. Jed now, Jasso. what does he do? What does he do? Jed Jazzo? Yeah. He's a music teacher. Where? Ooh. What? These where? These are the big three. The name. Where does the job. where is he end up or where does he start? Yeah. No, where does he end up? He ends up in Bangladesh. He starts in Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. All right. Now Rachel. And he's teaching like big band. You know, he's teaching like, <laughs> you know, kind of like the big like you know kind of my like favorite genre of music big, yeah yeah it's great. um and then he has to go to bangladesh and teach at a high school there great i i feel like part of the thing at them and ted lasso is like oh he <laughs> coaches american football and then he goes to england and he coaches european football right mm -hmm. so i wonder if he starts out in atlanta teaching big band when he ends up in Bangladesh, it should be a very little. <laughs> like a tiny is that a, little. Is that a, I'm sorry, is that a pitch? Are you pitching? It's a pitch. We're it's a pitch. I, I, just, I, I, think it's good. I think it's good. Oh, we're in the room. Oh, great. I've never been in the we're room. We're in the room. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, actually, it's perfect. a multi-pitch because Rachel's here too. We're going to, there's a part B where we get to Rachel's. Yeah. It's a, it's a group. <laughs> Rachel. Oh, I know Rachel. I thought Rachel was, on a veil. Well, wow. tech avail. Well, yes, she's a veil because she's uh, on a veil because she's working on untitled Rachel Zegler Ted Lasso ripoff. Yes, she's right. attached to that project already. Yes, <laughs> right. Fair enough. In which I yeah. play Zed Sorry. Zasso. Zed's there we go. Yes, <laughs> I like alliteration. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, okay. now Zed Zasso, what's Zed Zasso do? Um, oh god, Zed Zasso's just. I mean, yeah, you know. Okay. Just I, I mean, it. come on now. Sure. I feel like the name hey. Zed. <laughs> I feel like the name Zed got a bad rap for Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know, like, I mean, not that I knew many Zeds before, but I would say before Pulp Fiction, Zed and Jed were equal on the name. Mm. Yeah. On like the people you'd meet that would be named Jed. Or Zed. <laughs> and then after Pulp Fiction, Jed just ran ahead of Zed. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is right. that fair to say? A, a Jed, if you will. Yeah. So, I mean, I wonder if that happened to Watto, too. I definitely have heard a lot of people have reached out to me and told me I chose <laughs> not to name my child Watto because of you. You know, I feel like so people who go. were already <laughs> named just... Watto changed their name, and I was the last <laughs> Watto ever born. They sneak that into the New <laughs> Year's <Yeah>. card. <laughs> It was, yeah. it was, it was never. By it was, the way, water <laughs> yeah. was never among the most popular names for newborn it, babies. And no? that's it's a misconception. People think it was one of the most popular names. It was never one of the top. I, names. 
I yeah. always look for it a gift shop on a license. Yeah. Yeah, but I, yeah. I don't see never find it on of... mugs. It's crazy. It, 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 no. it did become oh, less, less popular yeah. after the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I get that too. I, I, just, I get that too. Can I just point out? I feel like one minute after Rachel came on the show, Patrick spotlighted the comment from the chat that was, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm here to support Rachel. <laughs> Adam, you're like, you come from the UCB. You've been on the stage show before. Yeah. I think people who are coming here to watch the George Lucas talk show because they're fans of yours can get on this wavelength. I feel Rachel Zegler fans are pretty fucking confused, right? <laughs> right. I imagine oh. whoever wrote that comment has only gotten more confused in the last 20 minutes. I don't know. I mean, I, I will say um, I don't. I remember doing the show. Mm -hmm. On stage, I don't remember you, Watto, wearing such an ill-fitting brazier. Mm. <laughs> it's not a brazier; it's a little vest. I have a little. I have a little. Oh, it's a little it. vest. Yeah, it's a little vest. Oh, yeah. okay. it's a it's a little vest. Oh, it's a yeah. little vest. Well, you know, not to be confused with kind of, big vest. <laughs> little vests, in some ways, are brasiers. Little vest, big belly. Sure, if you want to say so, fine. If that makes you yeah. happy, it's, it's a brazier. I think it speaks. I think it speaks to you as a class act, Pally, because when you were on the show, you were very much eyes up here. Yes. And now, and now we're looking at the Zoom screen, and you're kind of having right. to see full figure. You know. Now yeah. I'm in a medium Wado, shot. Wado, yeah. I do want to. I do want to prove Wado was wearing the vest when Pally was on. Was the show. wearing the Brazil. I wow. Wado, do you wow. have only fans? <laughs> Adam, you would not believe how often that comes up. As a <laughs> really? Is that true? Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would, I would, but, I would love to follow you. Well, it, there is a, there is a, a, a wiki feat for Watto. There's well, a, what's the? Can you bring oh, that up? God, wait, what just happened? Something disturbing just happened. Please I'm eating a corned beef eating, sandwich. You're eating a corned corn beef. beef sandwich underneath that. Is moving yeah. through your nose I mean, into that thing? His nose. Yeah. 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 Look, I try to pay respect to the guests every week. I wait to eat my dinner until the show goes live, so that way I can write it off as a tax expense, right? The business expense. There it is. <laughs> that's not paying respect to the guests. That's doing something. <laughs> no, it is. It is. That's only for you. That's it's only respect. for your benefit. I feel respected here. Thank you, What's Rachel. And you're the one I was for. Your for. No, because I order specific items in tribute to the guests. You didn't tell us that. <laughs> well, that's what I'm about. I'm trying to, to figure out what our link is. So, like, <laughs> yeah. So, a corned beef sandwich. So, me and Rachel made you think of a corned beef sandwich. Yeah. Is there more yeah. to it, Wado, or is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Don't focus on the corned beef. But okay. oh, no. what okay. part of the sandwich do you want me to? Not focus sure on? what part to focus it's, on. Then. It's not. It's not part of the sandwich. The sandwich was my main. You didn't ask me about my side door. What's the okay? Oh, I got wedge lettuce. It's a wedge side story. I'm telling here. I'm telling a little wedge yes, side story. Absolutely. That absolutely. is a long, long walk. Hell yeah. I've taken in longer. A pan, that in was a pandemic. Good. I've taken longer. It all goes downhill from here, guys. <laughs> Does Adams have something, or is it? Are we just talking wedge right now? No, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> That's it. Sorry, you Adam. You, you, you can figure out a food analogy for anything with me. Uh, I don't know. What do you want? Don't you have enough? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got the whole Ted Lasso box. This is all we've got. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean like where's mine. I just meant more like <laughs> I. I felt like I feel like. With the with the wealth of thank you, Pally Strami, with the That's wealth weird. of both like career and belly meats that I've publicly mm -hmm. consumed, I feel like it's like a very easy marriage. Wait, Wado, I don't hang know. On, hang on, Adam, I'm gonna take you off screen for one second just so I can talk to Wado really quick. Just stay right here. Do you have any hot sauce? You must have hot sauce, Wado. Yeah, why? Go get some hot sauce. Why? <laughs> we'll explain it in a little bit. Just go grab some hot sauce. Yeah. Hi. I'm gonna bring Adam back. Okay. Hey Adam, sorry you don't. That. I don't. He doesn't need to go get hot sauce. Yeah, no, he does. He disrespected no. you a little. No, I, no, he didn't. No, he Adam, didn't. I was I, more. I, no, that's, no, that does. is a reach of a reference too. Like, I don't think that's too much in the other. Maybe we could split the deck. 
Do you want him? He can go get a happy ending. Do you want that? <laughs> I, I feel like that would be more, at, like at least more yeah. in the realm right. of like yeah. what people right. would know. He also honestly that. could have just gotten some champagne to drink with it, and that would have been a really easy thing, <laughs> so right? That's fine. <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah. I mean, there's, that's what I'm saying. There's so many options that mm-hmm. the one that he that you that you guys chose seems. Um, this like, is entirely uh, a Watto. This is entirely a Watto bit. I don't want. I don't want you to think that Patrick and I are connected to this part of the show. Mm-mm. I don't. I don't think that you guys even are part of the show. <laughs> it's barely. I, I don't. I think this is his his jam. Rachel, yes. what's it like to be in a movie? <laughs> yeah, what's it like to be in a movie? Oh, it's, what is it I know, like I, know the, I know the answer, but I want to know what your answer is. Oh, I'm going to say it is the best stress in the world. <laughs> First of all, it's sriracha. It's, that, no, is, that is sriracha. Oh, my God. It's not hot sauce. That's sriracha. <laughs> and you just put Good it Lord. on a straight up wedge of lettuce. <laughs> oh. And he's eating it. Oh, gross. No, no. He is, that is. Good. Disturbing. This is terrible. I'm sorry that I did this to you guys. <laughs> yeah. What's the bit, Patrick? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Adam was Adam. Hot Sauce the, Academy. Yeah, Hot Sauce Academy. That was exactly what it was. Hot Sauce School Academy. School is in session. School is in session. <laughs> oh, that's not sauce. First of all, it's not hot sauce. Uh-huh. Very specific. I believe Vietnamese cuisine. Well, Watto, it was because okay. yeah, the Watto, words are there. We've gone to the. Hold on, we are going to the parliamentarian to decide to get a ruling ah! on. The, okay. Afraid the inclusion of the words "hot" and "sauce" on the packaging means that this goes to Watto. Watto, what? I have to dis. No, no. Sorry, it's not. It's agree. the parliamentarian, <laughs> Adam. It's the parliamentarian. I don't have any. Uh, I know, but that is that is bonkers that you would call sriracha a hot sauce. It's Wado, sauce. I was also Wado, I was also going to say that I know that you have some bowel issues sometimes, and I figured it could be a reference to three, two, one, Frankie go boom. Yeah. First Whoa. of all, that's a hot chili sauce. Yeah. Not a yeah. hot sauce. I so. covered the word chili. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think I'm an idiot, Watto? <laughs> yeah, but Watto, do you, have, do you have champagne in your home, Watto? No, I have a rosé spritzer. No, do. Hold on. Let me just check with the parliamentarian. <laughs> if this comes back that that is champagne and the hot sauce. No, the, no that goes to Pally. We are ruling against Watto on that. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Justice. <laughs> Oh wait! Well, hang on, Rachel. We're talking about what it's like to be in a movie. What is it like to be in a movie? What is it like to be in a movie? Yeah. What else? And and let's let's build onto this question. Mm. What is it like to have the first movie you're in be directed by Steven fucking Spielberg? Mm. (laughs) I mean, it's yeah, your buddy Steve. It's an honor. Um, He's He's the greatest person. Yes. Um, the kindest, most genuine, and very um, just very gracious with his time. And it, it it it's a it's that environment on set, and that is something that I miss every day, having been in lockdown for a long time. Um, you miss that environment, and I and I love that everybody's coming together to achieve a common goal. That's what I love about. But I also think it's the best stress. It's the best feeling of being tired at the end of the day, mm-hmm. and I love that. I don't know. What's your answer, George? <laughs> Well, I mean, I've asked. Yeah, what do what do you love about your buddy Steve? Yeah, what I, I he uh, he can do any kind of movie. Like, there's no kind of movie that mm. Steve can't do, and he keeps. Uh, you know, I one of the what I was thought Steve's I funniest? Movie. What's what's Steve's funniest movie? I mean, it's hard to say. 1941 is very funny, um, mm. but there's also a lot of mm. comedy. And you're a comedy guy. Yeah. You're I'm a comedy, comedy guy. I'm familiar with his yeah. catalog. You like Belushi? Is- do you think Belushi? Do you think Belushi's funny? You like Belushi? You like Belush? The Belush. Adam, do you like Belush? Do you like Belush? Do you like the Belush, Adam? You like early Danny? I'm a fan of the Belush, yes. You like the Belush? You like the Belush? I like the Belush. Like you like Ackroyd? Think Ackroyd's funny? I do love the Ackroyd. All right. I, like the Ackroyd. But I think that 41, I think even they, I think even they would say not to put Let's put words in Belushi's mouth. 
Right. You like Chris, Adam? Actually. You like Christopher Lee? You think Christopher Lee is funny? I love Christopher Lee. Um, <laughs> in fact, I just showed my son Beverly Hills Ninja the other night, and I feel like that movie was swept under the rug and is actually kind of brilliant. Um, but back to the, what you were saying before, uh, 1941, comedy is where I think Spielberg struggles. Struggles. I think his funniest movie is Catch Me If You Can. It's great. Um, That's a funny movie. Not not a not a hard comedy. Not not like a. I was gonna say, what would yeah. be a hard comedy? Like 41, even 41, is a, if you would say that it's a hard comedy, I would say it's a miss. <laughs> I miss it too. I, I should. I would. I was watching right now. Yeah. That's, mm. that's the feeling you get with a movie when you're not watching a great movie. You feel like I miss it. That's a miss. Would you put Would you put 1941 in Steven Spielberg's top five? Uh, sometimes, some days I would. Yeah, if I was ranking sometimes, top five, some days, some days. Some days. Where, how does, what, how many? First of all, how how often do you rank top five Spielberg movies? Mondays, Wednesdays, and secondly, Fridays. Pretty <laughs> secondly, often, pretty often. Where does often. where does it slide out? Where does it slide out? If I was if I was in a animals. comedy mood, if I was in a comedy mood, if it was joke week and I was thinking about comedies, not I. I would but rank. He said if it was joke week, he knows it it's not joke week. <laughs> if it was joke week and I was thinking about comedies, and you asked me to rate the top five Steven Spielberg directed comedies, 1941 would definitely be in the mix. Top five. Mm -hmm. First of all, I would never ask you to, to rate Spielberg comedies because there's like three of them. <laughs> Wait, I would say Spielberg you, which, movies. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> which ones Spielberg do you movies. think are comedies? Uh, the Terminal. Yeah. Funny. Um, funny. That movie is funny. You're not supposed to stay at an airport that long. What the funny <laughs> thing? <laughs> Who would want to? Yeah. Come on. Um, and the accent he nails. Uh, yeah. I, I have so uh, much family in Krakosia, and they all sound like him. <laughs> Victor Navorsky. They all have the Victor Navorsky accent. Catch me if you can. And uh -huh. 1941. I think those are his only comedy. Can I throw one in? Can I, I throw one BF, in? I suppose the BFG, the BFG is a hard drama. <laughs> the BFG is a it's got a bunch of farting dogs in it, Adam. That's a hard a, comedy. Guys, yeah, guys. but it's a just because you're attempting to get a laugh doesn't mean you're a comedy. Mm, you could be yeah. a failed. You could be. A, you could be a failed comedy. I'm gonna throw in Last Crusade. No. Yeah, it does have well, really Crusade, good one-liners oh, in there. Adam, Last yeah. Crusade is Frasier with Nazis. It's, Come on! Oh no, I have to. Favorite my line from Last Crusade. I Go. have to rewatch Last Crusade. <laughs> I have to rewatch Last Crusade, but I I found Last Crusade to be like where Spielberg often misses, which is like his slapstick, wow. like you know Spielberg Spielberg will miss with like a <laughs> zoom. Oh. You know? Hang on, uh, I I want to ask Rachel how many flat out laughs do you get in West Side Story? Now, this is oh, How many I just want to say that there was, it, I had less days. Um, I had more days where I had to cry on mm. set than okay. anything else. Mm -hmm. okay? Right. All right. Okay. Even well, in the scenes where it wasn't a crying thing, Stephen would take me aside and be like, love what you did there. Cry. Mm. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay, all right. But how yeah. about I don't? <laughs> are you good? At, are you good at crying on command? I'm very good at crying on command. Now, Rachel. I don't would... make me. <laughs> We I did make my it. makeup, Patrick. <laughs> I did my and makeup. This is expensive mascara. Do you want to pay me for my mascara, Patrick? Look. Can you do a dry cry? Can you do a dry cry that's more like a dry cry? Like that. Like a wah. Like I always start. Like an Anakin, you're breaking my heart cry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Right. Right. So, yes, exactly. For inspiration, think of the saddest scene in the history of movies. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Adam, what are your top five funny movies? Hey, wait, Patrick! Oh, I didn't this know. This is the thing. Patrick, hold on one second. <laughs> I'll just we go. finally got Rachel to agree to do a dry cry. She goes, okay. She preps herself. <laughs> she comes in with a new question. This is the thing you do. Or you set someone up for something, and right when they agree to do it, you change the subject. <laughs> I didn't think she was going to do it. I'm disturbed by Watto's. Yeah. I'm disturbed by, by a couple of things Watto said there. Go on. I mean, first of all, finally <laughs> got her to do a dry cry. <laughs> finally got her to do a dry cry. That was Don't the worry, first I mention of it. That was the first mention of it. No one, no one needs 
Rachel losing, losing anything. Her into the dark. <laughs> Ad, Adam, okay. Adam, I understand you feel left out. We're going to ask you to do a dry cry. We're going to get a dry cry from you as well if you're up for it. I'm shocked from you. <laughs> and Wado, the, the second thing was like quite, quite disturbing was the volume and tone of your voice. Mm -hmm. okay. Shock. Mm -hmm. That's my fault, Adam. That's my fault. I coded him loud <laughs> and hot. He's a he's I a guy mean, in the desert who yells. I I understand, but we're I mean we're all on Zoom here, and mm -hmm. you know, it was just it was it, it just took me back a little bit. My gesture. Use Adam, that, you need use to understand. Adam, use that feeling whenever we go into your dry cry. Okay. Yes. Pocket that for your dry crack. Hold on to that. You also, you also <laughs> need to understand, to you, it was like, why did Watto blow up out of nowhere? This is an epic saga. This is like the Skywalker saga. Yeah. It's the Kotner saga. And it's every week, him setting someone up. <laughs> All the pins are perfectly in place. Someone is winding up with the bowling ball, and then he comes in with a tennis racket and says, "Hey, are you do writing you want this me? down?" <laughs> because like this someone is, is winding up with the bowling ball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here's the analogy. Patrick says, "Do you want to go bowling?" The person goes, "Okay, fine." He set up the pins. They go. So they get already, their bowling. Ball. Already, it's pretty accurate because that was the way I ended up on the show. Mm -hmm. Of course, they rent out the shoes. They don't fit the bowling. time. They go back for a different pair of shoes. They lace them up. They have the bowling ball. They're winding it up. Hanna-Barbera style. Fred Flintstone, full windmill wind up of the bowling ball. And then Patrick walks in front of them and says, hey, do you want to play tennis? <laughs> He's got the racket and everything. I followed that. I followed that right to the end. All right, fine. Yeah. Rachel, if you want to do a dry cry, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Absolutely. I'm trying to get you out of Wait I am nothing Patrick. if not always prepared to do a dry cry to Anakin Patrick, Gamer. Patrick, Patrick, why so pushy? Don't act like we need right to do a dry cry. If she wants to do it, she'll do it, but don't push her. Jesus. Okay, here we go. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Is it, it, honestly, honestly, I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I don't know if it's too late for the Golden Globes to just print up an honorary one tonight. You know, it is, it's only 8.51 Eastern Standard Time. I will be expecting it to arrive by 10. It's a, yeah. it's a digital age. They Ooh. should be able to do some on-demand Globes. Bally, yeah. are you ready? Do you want me to do a dry cry first or are you ready? Are you ready to go? No, you should go last. It's your show. So true, Adam. So true. Thanks. I'm a generous actor. Great. Aren't we all? Have you heard? <laughs> yes, we all are. What's the line? Uh, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Yeah. No tears, please. Keep dry. it dry. Keep it dry. Could I have a read, not necessarily to follow, to inspire? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Rachel, go ahead. <laughs> One more time. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Oh. Wow. wow. Yeah. What it's because it Anakin's breaking it. her heart. It's that's exactly why, why she says it. <laughs> Rachel, that's exactly why. Oh my god. Did is you that what you intended? Notes? That's yeah, what I got from watching it. The, so the I mean subtext genius. Is the text. genius. Genius. Mm. Genius. All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Anakin's breaking my heart. That's good. That's yeah. so good. Very good. Rachel, the only reason that we didn't apply the, the applause is a new part of it. I feel like we owe you a round of applause because we were so stunned by both of these. No, that's uh, yeah, please, please, please. I don't think that it means an please. either or. Please, yeah. I don't need All validation. Right. I'm just an actor. <laughs> I'll take Rachel's validation if she's giving it away. All right, ignore the. Fr I'm going to say a word that we're going to we would cut out if we were using it. Just gets me to where I need to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Now we should explain for a guest. George, of course, is more known as a retired filmmaker, but he, of course, has done some acting in the past. And so often he has to kind of recreate the process that helped him get into character 
for his role as bystander in Beverly Hills Cop 3, in which Axel Foley runs in front of him to try to stop a crime. George thinks that he is cutting him in line for a ride. And George says, you want to give us another reading, George? <laughs> hey! <laughs> and then after that, I say, let's get out of here. And then Axel Foley goes on to Axel Foley goes on to solve the mysteries. <laughs> Are you a fan of Eddie Murphy, Adam? Yeah, giant, very much so. Yeah, all right. Looking forward to coming to America too. Yeah. Yes. Actually, when you, Patrick, you before you asked me what my top five funny yeah. movies are, and uh, I was thinking about this the other day actually, and I, I coming to America is one of my one of the funniest movies. But I want to be honest and say that I don't know if it's because of my age or what, but I might have laughed harder at Nutty Professor. Mm. Is that blasphemous? I don't know. Interesting. I think that's fine. I, um, I think a lot of coming to America's value, too, is that's a very sweet. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's actually it's, one of it's, Eddie's it's best less. performances. Agreed. Agreed. Right. But Nutty Professor is funny from the moment it starts to the moment it ends. And even like the cameos, the whole Dave Chappelle scene is mm. electric. It's like electric funny, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I might switch that out. So I think in, 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 I think if I remember the top five that I, that I mentioned the other night, it would be um, Young Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, Nutty Professor. Um, girls trip. Uh, and this is where I started to kind of. There's a lot of bleeding in and out. Home Alone. All right. And hold on, I want to make sure I wrote. I wrote it down. I, I want to make sure I get it. Yeah, the, it the right. full title, Adam, is Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. That's the full title of the funniest movie. Yeah, that's number one. You got it. Um, God, hold on, wait, I gotta get it right. Um, uh, I, I found it, Adam, because you tweeted oh, this. Okay, okay cool. you said Young Frankenstein, Coming to America, Girls Trip, Home Alone, Tommy Boy. Oh, mm. Tommy but, Boy, Tommy Boy. I would, I would, say I would Tommy Boy, Tommy Boy, and yeah, but I would replace <laughs> Coming to America with um, Nutty Professor. Adam, oh. could, you, could you do me a favor? Yeah, do you have a printer? <laughs> yeah. Could you print out that tweet and and make it? <laughs> no problem. I'd love to get a physical Patrick, copy. Could you I know send that it to me and send it to me on a link? Yeah, sure. Hang on one second. Great. Hard, a copy, hard to copy of the tweet. Yeah. Um, That'd be great. But those yeah, are my those are my top five funny. Why? What? Are, can I, could I ask you guys what yours were? Absolutely, absolutely. Let, let, I'll go last because I think I'm, as the host of the show, I could I, I could go now if everyone wants me to, but I, I'll go last because I feel no, like I, I don't need to hear it first. All right, Rachel. Do you do you have? Uh, do you do you like? To, first of all, do you like listing movies? Is listing movies a thing you like to? I do. I because I watch a lot I of movies. It. So, yeah. <laughs> do you have a top five comedies? Or, or I'm trying to think of five, but my my list is kind of inspired by Adams because Ooh. he brought up a couple that I haven't thought of in a while, um, and that's like Mel Brooks's entire filmography. <laughs> So I have to say, Young Frankenstein's up there. I love Spaceballs. I love, um, great one. Great one. I love Blazing Saddles. I think Blazing Saddles is fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, George, how do you feel about Spaceballs? That's in my top yeah. five. Movies. It's in my there list. Go. It's in your it. list. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, see that—that that is information that I'm actually eager to know. Yeah, I love it. I think Bill and Ted's is in mine too. Like the first Whoa. Bill and Ted's is one of my favorite Whoa. movies that I could just laugh at forever. Mm -hmm. Um, coming to America, definitely. I love coming to America. Okay. The sexual chocolate scene, the she's your queen is so hilarious every time. And also bringing so, up baby. I love Rachel, bringing up baby. You, yes. Rachel, you think coming to America is funnier than Nutty Professor? I'm going to say I, I like the gags in coming to America more than I like the gags in Nutty Professor. But I think that if you're looking at amount of gags and amount of times that you laugh, probably Nutty Professor. Mm. But yeah, so I enjoy but, coming to America. But it's a better America. movie. I think Coming to America is a better movie. Yeah, 
Like if you're trying to follow a story arc, you'd probably mm -hmm. want to sit down and watch something that you get really invested in, like Coming to America. Mm -hmm. um, but I just love the gags in Coming to America. And I think it's, I just yeah. think it's funny being it's from cute. here too and having someone be like, we'll go to New York. That's where I'll find my bride. Like yeah. That's but hilarious. There, there, there truly is nothing funnier than the cold open of the first nutty professor with like the whole family, Hercules, yes. Hercules. It's like, yes. that, that truly is one of the funniest <laughs> things. Well, I mean, by that argument, the nutty professor too, the clumps has to be the funniest movie of all time. Cause there's no such thing as too much of a good thing. And that movie just went, there's let's just do that dinner table scene for a hundred straight minutes. <laughs> I think there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. I think that's no. how that saying goes. No, no, no pretty I don't think that saying. I don't think that saying is there's no such thing as too much of a good thing. Look at the size of my sandwich. Do you think Watto subscribes to the theory that there's such a thing as too much of a good thing? I don't, yeah, yeah, I guess not. I guess it's, not. George, what what are your five funniest movies? <laughs> five funniest I mean, movies. All right, now I'm not obviously. We're, I, I'm going to go by different rules uh, than you than you all will because I right. can't include Radio Land Murders because I'm not going to pick my own movies. I can't pick Radio Land Murders. That's not, not even. But that wouldn't even be top five. Like yeah, if you were to pick five. that, if you were to, if you were to tell me top five of your favorite movies, and then you're like American Graffiti, I'd be like George, you're picking your own movies. Yeah, and, like, and if and if you were to say that, I'd be like, that is so condescending. You think I don't know I made American graffiti? <laughs> Seventy six. I'm. I know I made American graffiti. That is so ageist. <laughs> <Adam. laughs> don't do that. Do not talk to older people that way. Oh my god. Yeah, first of all, I didn't know <laughs> what I meant. I know. I know. Please. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead. Okay, Adam. Go ahead. Put me in a home. If that's really <laughs> the way you feel. Please call that someone. Movie, you know, George, that movie is, is is not that funny. It's super funny, and it's more profitable than any almost any comedy ever made. <laughs> That's that is from 1986. <laughs> that is what? not an accurate. Adjust for no inflation. Way. Adjust, Adjust for, for inflation. inflation. It's one of the most profitable because yeah. it didn't cost that much yeah. to make. Yes, ratio of cost to profit. I will not yes. adjust for inflation. No. <laughs> Adam, Adam, you will. Adam, you will you will. I will not. I will. You will. Not. You're already you doing it. You could already do doing it. Adam. it. You could Adam, you the blow up. Up. I know blow. you're already adjusting for inflation. That movie will be not that funny and not that profitable. Adjust the Adam. Joke. Adjust the jokes for inflation too. You know what? You're right. The <laughs> other day, you know what? You're you're absolutely right. The other day. I was walking home and I saw this long, long line stretched. It must have been a full city block around. And I said, what is everyone doing? What are you guys all doing here? And they said, oh, we're all going in to watch American Graffiti. In the middle of a and pandemic. I said, I said, "You, yes, this is a huge oh God, pandemic. Cinema said, oh, saved. <laughs> that's not going to stop us. Watching the funniest movie of all time, of American course. Graffiti, yeah. and, and I've yeah. heard that you can find this all over the country. These kind of yeah. American yes. graffiti screenings yeah. that uh -huh. pop up that are super well yeah. attended. Yeah, uh, and so yeah, no, I think you're right, George. Yeah, right. And 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 George made the good point, which is you you also have to adjust the laughs for right. inflation. So it's funnier if you adjust for inflation. I will right. say that your and jokes right. in the that movie are. I will adjust. I will adjust. I do. I do. If the have jokes were this funny in '76, then the jokes are like this funny now. I do want to say the actual numbers because it may not, Adam. Your your funniness test may not track, but it did in 2020 numbers. It cost four hundred seventy one thousand dollars, and it made eight hundred and fifty eight million dollars in 2020 numbers. That's the tagline no, on but, the poster. But, but guys, too. guys, <laughs> okay. I I don't know how to explain to you that this stat means nothing. Adam. Okay. <laughs> Adam, that, 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 that is fine. That is fine mm -hmm. to think mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. in the year that it was made, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for that little bit of time that it was released and then it made all that money, yeah, it, that's a big profit. Sure. But there are movies, probably hundreds that we could all name, that are still making movie making money <sighs> as we speak right now. Adam, that are you don't a million understand. times more. Shut up, Wado. 
that are a million times more profitable yeah. than American graffiti that I, I actually believe possibly every second that someone dies is a, is, is another <laughs> less person that has ever seen American graffiti. <laughs> All right, that, that may be true, Adam. And uh, please don't be. I, I'm going to try hard to not have this sound as harsh as I fear it might. Yes. All right. When we're talking about, but when we're talking about speaking as a billionaire, I am not going to have you. I am not going to sit here and have you money explain the success yeah. of America. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not Adam, money, yeah. money to not money explain. It's not money explaining. By a pauper, by a pauper, Adam. Adam. The only Adam. way to qualify, Adam. you would have had to sell it at its most maximum yeah. to achieve yeah. the inflation you're speaking. I, I, Look, I don't even understand why we're getting angry at Adam because he showed his ignorance with the beginning, the opening statement of his spiel, which was. I understand, but that stat doesn't matter. And he just doesn't get that it's the only stat that matters. This is why Jed Jasso didn't get picked up for a second season. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no, it's because I'm I not put enough count, heart into it. I won't count Howard. I won't count Howard the Duck. I won't count Howard the Duck in my top five because I didn't direct. I didn't direct it, but I produced it. It was my idea to make it. All right, so that's out. I won't count Howard the Duck. I won't count American Graffiti because I directed it. It was not fair to count that in my top five. I'm not counting Radio Land Murders. It's a Mel Smith film, but. I was the person behind it, okay? <laughs> Zed Zasno. My Vogue photo for Zed Zasno. <laughs> that is a, see, now that show, I want, I want to get a screener for that show. It hasn't even been made, and I want that show. I mean, there it hey, is. There it is. There it is. Zasso. That's I mean, the moneymaker. If they are smart, these see, shows are like <laughs> Patrick, the you have. It's the J's yeah. in seeing yeah. the picture. That's matter. All right. You have there we go. This is oh, the one I want to do to show. <laughs> the the pitch here is that this is about Watto eating hot sauce. He's going to become red ass. All right. I like that. So uh, I already said, I already said space balls. Uh, very funny. I mean, it's hard because Mel Brooks uh, had such a run of classic films. It could have been any. It could have been any of them. But obviously, I, I'm a little sentimental about it. Obviously, this is the closest I'm going to get to like a personal attachment on my list, mm -hmm. but. Spaceballs is is in the number five slot. Okay, um, and obviously this this changes. We've already said 1941. That's on the list. 1941 classic. SNL at the peak of their powers. You got Belushi and Ackroyd, Spielberg teaming up. Uh, it's a prequel to Schindler's List if you look at it a certain way because it's a no, it thing. no, it is yeah, not. No, it's yeah, not. Absolutely yeah, not. It is. Well, not. And I choose to look at it. They're very and much of a, piece. <laughs> They're of a piece. They are not even <laughs> relevant to each other. Uh, They're of a piece. The, the uh, at number three, uh, number three, I'm gonna put uh, Morning Glory. <laughs> you see Morning Glory, Rachel McAdams. Mm -hmm. It's real funny, yeah. real funny. I and Pete and Harrison Ford, they work on a morning talk show. I haven't seen it, it's really good. good movie. Underrated, <laughs> Produ yeah. produced by JJ Abrams. Produced oh. by JJ. All right, right, well, anything JJ makes is comedy gold. Uh, for me. So, what else? Uh, at, at number two, post, postcards from the edge. <laughs> you ever seen postcards it. from the edge? Directed mm -hmm. by Mike Nichols, based on the written by Gary Fisher. It's a it's it's one of the funniest movies of all time. I I actually think that you are being a hundred percent sincere when you mention that. I, I, don't mind. I I've been sincere. Everything I've done that wasn't overtly a comedy bit on the show is just me being sincere. That's what the show is. There it is. Absolutely. There's no way to decipher that. Absolutely it's not. Got as I much heart as Jed. I refuse that sentence as pure affection. I was sincere when I and I apologize for screaming at you that you were a pauper, but you have to see it from my point of view. I'm a billionaire. I, it's it's impossible I for me see to see it from your point of view. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Carry on, George. I'm right. sorry. And, I mean, and the number one slot, and this is people are gonna get mad. But I hope not. Francis Ford Coppola's 1996 masterpiece, Jack. I don't want to hear it. Don't. Oh, <laughs> funny funny movie. Funny. He's my mentor. He's my mentor. Movie. Yeah. He's my mentor. I miss right. Robin. Robin, uh, I thought was hilarious. You don't think Robin was hilarious? I think Robin's great. No, I, miss, I miss Robin every day. Yeah. Miss Bill Cosby. 
There's a lot of people in that movie. He, that he plays the doctor. doctor. That's just he a pause. The yeah. a lot of people a in pause that movie. tells you all you need to know. <laughs> That's the thing. That's the one. The one thing I hesitate about is obviously watching Jack in 2021 is mm. is a much different experience than watching it yeah. in the theater in 1996. Yeah. I yeah. won't deny it, but he's my mentor, and I can't. When I look at that, you, you don't have to put your mentor's movies. Picture of all like, of you us. don't have to. You don't have to put good. your mentor's movie in the best comedy category. I think Francis. Oh, I want to be clear. Would be psyched for his other her. movies to make it in. Like, I don't think he would be offended if you said, "Well, there are other comedic filmmakers that make better comedies than Francis." I'm sorry, Adam. I'm, I, sorry. I'm just counting my blessings right now. I'm so grateful that I am not your mentor with the kind <laughs> of treatment that you clearly extend to those who get you started in the industry. Hmm. Adam, just, who is, who, hang on, George. George, Adam, who is your mentor? Who's your mentor, Adam? My mentor? Rachel, um, same question. Question goes for both Oh, here. I mean, mine's kind of a given. It's our buddy, <laughs> Steve. Hey, buddy, Steve. Oh, but wow. he's actually in my phone as my creative sponsor. That's what he. That's <laughs> wow. what he's in my phone really as. Cool. He's in my phone as my best friend. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Isn't that sweet? He's fine. I'm number two. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, you know, like I would be remiss to claim a mentor because I mm. feel that possibly those people would then say, be offended and say, absolutely mm. not. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, who taught, who taught your maybe, 201? When you were in 201, who was your teacher? Paul Shear. All right. That's it. That's the answer. That's, that's, answer. Where that's, the answer. that's where you learned about game. It was Paul yeah. Shear. Yeah. Friend of the show. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Paul. I guess Paul one. is my mentor. I, guess Paul, I would say, you know, I, I will accept that and say, I guess Paul is my mentor because from that so, moment, from that moment, I was like, I want to do what you're doing. Like you are so funny. I want to do what you're doing. And he in turn was like, I think you're funny too. And like kind of, Carried me through. Right. So yeah, and now, and now you and you have become over the years a human giant of comedy. Mm. In my estimation, sure. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's the, thank you. I think even cooler than that is that I have gotten to through the years become friends with Paul and co and like work with him, and that is really cool. That like you can like like we like work on stuff together now. Like mm -hmm. he and I, I say. Can I say bubbling under at number six? Can I say bubbling under? Pop star, never stop, never stopping. Mm -hmm. That was on my list, George. That was on my list. I, really, I love that movie. That movie is hilarious. And, and, Paul, and Paul has one of the funniest parts in that movie. Love that scene. It's so simple, but the way he says the line, oh no, <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> great. It's so yeah. funny. It, and that movie doesn't get enough. That movie doesn't get enough love, especially. I, th I think that that is MacGruber related. MacGruber's on I my feel list. Like too. You know what? And I love MacGruber, love MacGruber, but I feel like MacGruber sometimes takes a little shine from pop star. Mm -hmm. You know you what? Know, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna knock, I'm gonna knock Jack from the number one spot. I'm gonna move Jack. Wow! Down the Whoa! Next. Pop star, never stop, never stop. I might wake up tomorrow and realize what have I done to Francis. I'm gonna put it right back. But I'm everyone I who has okay with it. Everyone who I hasn't seen that. Pop Star, never stop, never stopping. It's one of the great. It's one of the great films of the 21st century. And so many great cameos like you know who like um chris red happens mm -hmm. to be chris red. extremely Friend funny extremely funny and pop star incredible um, performance yeah, yeah the all the, 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 that movie is is rachel have you seen pop star never i haven't i gotta put it on my uh, list. Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's the original movie musical rachel oh you my it. goodness there we go I, I have i don't think that's true Nope, it is. It's on the it's list. The so it's, the list doesn't the lie. Movie. I think that's actually what it's saying that was. Um, no, it, is is no one going to list. ask Watto mm -hmm. for his list? Yeah, Watto and I still have top five. Oh, sure. Watto, what's your list? Oh, my list? <laughs> so funny well, you should ask. If we're just talking funny, right? Yes. If we're talking like I put this movie on sit back and I laugh. We're just talking about pure jokes. It's just mm -hmm. what we're For me, about. top five funniest movies of all time. Uh, the Gambler, the original with James Caan, mm. California Split, mm. Uncut Gems, Absolutely. Mississippi Grind, yeah, yeah. and then 
in number one position, I'd probably put the remake of The Gambler with Mark Wahlberg. Those are just oh, for me the movies yes. that make me laugh. They're like a warm bath of laughs. Yeah. Do you ever like to to not like take your work home with you? Do you ever like to mm -hmm. just like put on a movie that is not maybe about about what you do for a living? Uh, it's funny. I never, I never, until this moment, you saying it, recognize that there is perhaps some overlap between the movies I find funny and and my vices in real life. Your yeah. list rhymes. Yeah, I, I do like movies about stubborn gamblers. It rhymes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, Rachel, we've been talking around this subject because obviously, you know, it's sensitive. It, there are NDAs involved and whatever. But the news did come out this week. You're the first person to benefit from a free George Lucas talk show bump. Usually people get the career bump yeah. after they appear on the show. Right. You're the first person where the booking, the announcement, mm -hmm. the announcement. gave you the bump and I want to get my details right here yeah. but in the news story it said you've been added to the cast of Shazam 2 and the name of your character is the key role so <laughs> yes. is this a character from the DC comics is this a yeah. hero or a villain who is the key right role? I'm the undisclosed key role and I mean what am I if not undisclosed you know yes. it isn't that life Mm -hmm. Right. You it's know, like the amazing just... Spider-Man, the undisclosed oh, key role. I'm the yeah. undisclosed key role. And when I get my standalone film, undisclosed key and role, that's one, yeah. two, three. So it goes together, obviously. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. um, you can. It just, it works out. So I'm undisclosed key role. And I actually didn't know that that news was dropping at all. So wow. it I just, tell you. they, I mean, I found out that morning and did, then. Did you the know you news... were, you didn't know you were in the movie until they announced it? Well, I had found out that morning, and then about six hours later, the whole world knew. Wow. wow. So it's a bit overwhelming. So it does. It does. <laughs> it really, really does. <laughs> What's I think it's awesome. It's it got to be cool to work with Shaq. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kazam. So true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and they're adding Sinbad to this one, right? This right. Is oh, absolutely. The, the Freddy I'm... versus Jason team-up movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Now, Duh. my question is, what advice can Gary the cameraman give to Undisclosed Key Role about being in a superhero movie? Uh, um, uh, I would say uh, I don't like to, you know, I don't like to talk as, like, it's not, you know, I wouldn't, like, go into my character's voice or whatever. Yeah. But I would, well, just, I would just say, I would just say, Rachel, like, as an actor, the advice mm -hmm. I would give, and this is just from stuff that I have learned in the Marvel universe, I don't know if DC is the same. But, um, when you're on set and you're you're um, like doing all the stuff and everything, and you're like, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like you're forming your little world, yeah. you're making your relationships right. with people around. The I don't think there's any need to make anti-Semitic jokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so true. There, it's not necessary. No, like, you don't need to do and that. I learned. I learned that. I learned that like right up, right away. Yeah. Right. That's good. That's good. It's interesting. That's a very different process than making a Star Wars movie. I guess. It's Actually, I had the same. Oh, I had the same God. experience on Star Wars. Well, wow. I'm talking about one that George directed. It was different back what George directed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it must have been. Favreau had a way less. Yeah, what? it seems like there's a common denominator here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Going with the smile. Uh huh. That little gleam in your eye. Uh -huh. You know, uh, uh, be be loose, be uh -huh. able to take, be be able to say like this is what I was thinking, but I'm willing to change it. Right. And then, I would say avoid making references to like Jews owning the banks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Adam. I'm really excited to start now with all these new tips. You're Adam Pally, and this is your master class. Yeah. <laughs> and how to act in a big franchise, yeah. I'm yeah. sending you $75 on Venmo. <laughs> oh, here's another tip. Oh. There's there's absolutely no need to find out where a light district exists <laughs> where you're shooting. Write that down. You all got that? You don't need to. You cut, that, you you cut out for a anybody. second, Adam. You cut out for a second. How do I find out where the red light is? <laughs> no, no. Uh, I was saying there's no need to even wonder or ask um, people. Oh, you on don't the set wonder or ask other actors you... or direct. Most most likely, you're in a, in a in a remote location 
Yeah, and it's North like, Carolina. A red light, a red light I, district is, is, is I, not I, even. I get what you're saying. Yeah, no, you're yeah. saying find that out far in advance so you don't have to bother the cast. I'm just saying you don't have to ask things. anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, do <laughs> your research. Than that, I yes. think that's, every, that's everything. Okay. At, at the risk of at the risk of being too personally revealing, I've always uh, <laughs> hated the idea of a red light district, both because there's the uh, I, I'm sexually unadventurous. It's not something I'm not interested in sexuality or sensuality. Mm -hmm. And I like right. to drive. I like to drive fast. So red light. My mm -hmm. associations are entirely negative. Right. I would love to know. Where you the associate. Green light, where's, the, where's the green light district? No one ever asks that. And that's where I'd like you to associate. Know. You associate like a red light district with like. A long time getting home. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and I want to drive fast. I don't want to be. I don't want to be stopping. So I want to know right. where you can go, go, go. Like now, this is pod racing. Yes, now, yeah. this this is pod racing. now this yeah. is pod racing. Now this is now this is pod racing. You know, I have takes of every where he emphasizes every word different. I had him go through, so he's like, now, now this, is this is pod racing. Now yeah. this, this is oh. pod racing. <laughs> you know now what else, Rachel? Racing. Wait, hang on, you he's got another else? one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what else I will say in all in all seriousness? This is like, um, try not to forget if you have a kid. Mm. Yeah, I hate when that happens. It's so funny that you should uh -huh. bring it up because it's happened to me before. So and like, you're not, even, you're not even talking about the character, you're talking about real life. No, real life. Yeah, like when you get yeah. to the set and you yeah. present who you are to these people, yeah. if you've come down there with your child, like if you're caring for them, try to remember that you did. It was just like a small thing. Are you speaking from experience, Adam Pally? Yeah, totally. <laughs> it was a small thing that set me out on the wrong foot with Shane Black on Iron Man 3. Right. Um, but but after he, honestly, after he grabbed my kid from the, from the wake, it was fine. Now, I'll tell you this, Rachel. Uh, the this wake of the, of the wake, the wake of the water. Right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If you are in danger, I, I mean, I'm a good dad and parenthood's always been a priority, but of course. one helpful way, if you if you need a reminder of that you have kids and who they are. Right. Produce action figures. Oh my, so of true. Children in the, already world, in the yeah. world of, uh, I, 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 I don't presume to know whether you, you have created a fictional world, but it can be a fictional world that you're just an actor in. Right, right. Like, I'm just an actor there as Baron Papanoida. Mm -hmm. And there's the three of my kids that I had at that time. Mm -hmm. All a family. Oh, Rachel, you know what else? What? This is good. This is good. Yeah. If you're if you're gonna be on I, again, I don't know how DC operates versus right. Marvel. Mm -hmm. But I would say like, um, there's no need to use your co-stars credit cards. <laughs> no. mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. no, I thought that way too when I got there. No need. I felt that way too, but there's no yeah. need. Like really, none. You don't need. N not really. No. I like. I think. I think it gets better to use your own. In this. Just from experience. I mean, I guess. Rachel, you you're not really questioning it, this. Just keep it in mind. Keep no, it in mind. If you are going to use it, buy something that can't break. Right. Okay. <laughs> Now I'd like I also, to what I, I am I going to use Zach Levi's card for? <laughs> I, I want to quickly let people know that. Jason Sudeikis just won Best Actor in a TV Comedy. Justice for That's Jason! For Lasso. That's Bet right, me. baby! Lasso. Believe. Oh. oh, Lasso. Oh. Now let's, let's Get that out of here, Pat. Because I, I feel like, Adam, you've just provided some very good uh, advice. Um, but, Adam, you haven't been in a movie musical, have you? Yeah. Have you? I have. I have. have Which I have. one? What you and Freak Dance? It was called yeah. Band Aid. Band Aid, yes. Mm. That was now this won, is, but this is oh, this is it where won the, music. the it won a couple of awards. It's not a big deal. <laughs> right. Right, right. Uh but it's not a musical where the where the reality is they break in a song. It's about a band that plays music that is heard in world, yes. It's diegetic, if that's what you're asking. So it's yeah. like a like, movie with oh, music. Oh, thank you. No, it's a musical thank, like thank we sing the song. Again. Thank you. You think I don't know what diegetic is? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I I'm just seventy six years old, and you just think, "Oh, I've no, forgotten all the words." George, <laughs> no, just, just normally, if someone knows what a word yeah, means, they lead with the word and then they explain it after. Yeah, but I haven't um, seen Band Aid. You're crazy. I watched. I watched it a ton. <laughs> it. I'm sure you have. Uh, have. It. It. It is a diegetic 
musical, yeah. which means that we you haven't had your first song. song and sing. I, you know what? I think you'd be great singing Dear Officer Krupke. Oh, I would love mm. to. You know I think that would be really great. Yeah. That's where I'd I want to do music. I would love, you know, Rachel, like I was now it's your turn, day. Rachel, to give Adam we'll give Adam point, yeah, pointers about when you're in a big classical traditional mm -hmm. style movie. Totally. Mm -hmm. totally. Rachel, have you seen Have you seen The Greatest Showman with Hugh Jackman and Zach? I Apple? have. I have. I really like that musical. It's a lot, just a lot of music. Really, that's really nice. I like that you like it. I feel like you love it too. <laughs> and I don't know, like if we were gonna remake, if I was gonna remake a musical, I feel like that would be the one. That would be the one. Yeah. You wouldn't choose any other. That's the Very one. Very, There's a vast catalog of me. Have, have you seen a musical a before? Time. Like I've seen many. Have you? Many. And that's yeah. the one, right? Yes, that's my favorite. Totally. And who would who would you play? <laughs> Both Hugh Jackman and Zac Efron's part. You would play, yeah, both the greatest and the showman. Understood. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, the, I think, yeah, the, the, the fun thing about the musical is that they're both, they're they're both, both the greatest showman. The greatest showman, exactly. So they're, yeah. that's Rachel, it, it's weird. You're acting like Adam's choice is weird when the movie itself proclaims this is the greatest show. I, I mean, it, doesn't it, it ever? <laughs> it's inarguably the greatest Several movie times musical. Over. It, I mean, it could it be argued it. that because they proclaim it for themselves, yeah. that I it mean, is. I'll say this. The E. Morris in the chat says Pally could be the music man, and I don't disagree. We've got trouble. I, I would do the music man. <laughs> it's, it's very much like a Craig Bierko. Yeah. Craig Bierko did it. Yeah. I feel like mm. my music man would be a little less intense. Sure. You know? But sure. I, you know what I don't love about being labeled as like that's the role I could play. He's a grifter. Mm. You know, it's <laughs> like there yeah. is a level that people look at me mm -hmm. and they don't trust me, which mm -hmm. is like I don't. You know, like I I think I could play Tevya. I think I'd make an interesting. Oh hell Tevye. yeah! But oh. I think a lot of people probably think I play a better Laser Wolf. Yeah. Mm. Also, the Butcher. fact that you're the fact that you're a pauper. I think you. I I'm would not a pauper. That that's in comparison, no, maybe compared to me. And so I feel like if for you to sing a hypothetical song about if like I could never pull off Tevya if I were a rich no. man a deedle deedle right right no know it like, yeah. oh you're not twenty they know I'm not also, twenty also it's a years old. it's a baritone so that's the first show I ever did was Fiddler on the Roof that's really cool. really yeah. what'd you play I was the second youngest daughter Sprinza um, oh Sprinza is a is an underrated part. I agree. She brings in the potatoes in the in the first scene. Hold on to your potatoes. I Hold yeah. On to them. And they were moldy by the end of the run. It's really <laughs> cute. Really <laughs> glamorous. Look at how far we've come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rachel, I would, if, if I would love like, to see a production of Fiddler with you two in it. Uh, oh. I would love to. I, honestly, I would yeah. love to do a, a musical of that stature. Um, I begged a bunch of people, but they always say to me, "We're just trying to get to the tunnel." You don't have to come up to our window. Bull. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, Rachel, what what is the advice that you would give to Adam if this is your about master working class? on a music? This mm -hmm. is my. Uh, I, this, uh, I'm Rachel Zegler, and this is my master class. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. How do you, you act know, in a big A list movie musical? I would say. You you do have to wear the white dress everywhere. You do. You do, even though it's a hundred degrees out, you have to wear the white dress, Adam. Yeah. This is it's good iconic. universal experience. This yeah, is universal. For all musicals, anymore. there is an iconic but Evita. <laughs> like, come on. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, it's it's the episode four syndrome where it's like you're the princess. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. the oh, princess, you're, Adam. You're, you're you wear the white dress. dress. You wear the white dress. You have to. You wear the white dress. You, you guys are making dress. a lot of sense. I <laughs> That's it. Oh, this is pod that's rating. all I want in my life. So that that's my first tip, I think. I'm trying to think of more because being in a mu movie musical is hard and I lived like a nun for like six months. <laughs> so, hmm. you know, I don't think you have to live like a nun. I did a play that wasn't a musical. That was just like a play play. Mm -hmm. Play play. We just call them plays. That's, that's the only similarity. What 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 play was it? What'd what you do? Play play. It was called Cardinal. 
gorge. Like the bird? You love a bird? Like the bird, yeah. It was about Chinese immigration. It was at the second stage with uh, Anna Klumsky. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love it wasn't that. a musical, but I definitely understand that life. It's a play play. It's, it's, it's a rigorous It was a play play. Style. I believe, uh, George, I invited you several times to come down. Wow. Oh. I By that it. tone, I'm assuming George you saw did it. not come. Oh. George, no, George saw it. A twist. That's good. And what was I your favorite part, believe, George? I actually, I actually, in all honesty, do believe George saw it. Yeah. Wow. George, what do you remember from it? Yeah, George, share some specific. We would like to part. George Lucas it was part. long. It was long, George. Two and a half hours about Chinese immigration. I remember, but here's the thing. I knew it was long, but I remember uh, not feeling like it was long. I remember Ooh, being stunned wow. when I remember being because I, I saw it with Melody. I remember uh, being stunned that it was at, as short as it was. I thought maybe there's another act mm. at the end. Of it. Mm. That's Just four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But you no, don't right. remember, is there anything specific from the show that you remember, George? You know, like your favorite open? line of Adam's, yeah. maybe? Yeah, scenes. Well, I did, you know, I don't, when I go to plays, I don't memorize the lines of the actors in the play. Sure. Well, of course. No, well, neither do viewers like, of movies, no. Right. Not at just all. Tell, tell us about Adam's funny. character in the broadest strokes imaginable. In the broadest strokes imaginable? And look at, and look at us in the you eyes what? while you're telling us. You don't look I'd down. I'd actually like, I'd actually right. like more specific than the broadest. <laughs> okay, right. let's panel in. Right. Well... Chomsky, if I'm remembering correctly, uh -huh. she it said she returns Klumsky. from Brooklyn. Chomsky, Klum good Klumsky. start. Yeah, strong. Not the professor yeah. to the Chomsky, am I right? <laughs> yeah, she comes now, back. George, home. She comes back George, to her hometown. Yeah, George, I can yeah. see the Wikipedia page. In your <laughs> your <glasses. laughs> yeah. I can see it in your glasses. Yeah, you can't. Yes, I can. But, can, and I can around. also We're notice that around. your glasses, your glasses are a weird shape of neither circle nor square. <laughs> You're seeing the reflection of the show. Oh, great! See, if you look close enough, you probably see yourself, right? George, close your eyes mm. and explain it. Like, really get into it. Just keep those eyes closed. Take take the glasses all off. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'll take the glasses off. No yeah, eyes closed though. Eyes all the way closed. Yeah. All the way. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. not, not the reason. Not the Gilbert Godfrey. Mm -hmm. the Gilbert Godfrey. You're French the way Stewart. Close. You're French Stewart. Yeah. Just cover him. Just cover him up. Like the control him. right now. Uh oh. Right. I need to put my glasses side. back on if I'm going to cover him. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? Turn around. Just turn around, George. Turn okay. around. <laughs> Sorry, I almost spoke. Turn around. All right. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Wow, you oh, no. great character. I don't remember the name of her character. Right. But she comes back. I think she was in New York. She comes back to her hometown. <laughs> and she's thinking about she she has big big dreams. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but the town is depressed from what she from the since the time that she was there. Things have changed. He's looking at, he's looking right. at it in the reflection of his phone. <laughs> what? You told me to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> your rules. I am following your rules. I did everything you asked. <laughs> okay. Talk to the mayor, Jeff. Torm. Jeff Torm is to paint six blocks of Main Street from Plum to Swan, Cardinal Red. George, hands in the air, George. George. George, hands in the air, George. You look so young from the back. You, you look great. You right. do look so young from the back, George. George, you know what? No, put your phone in one of your hands. Hand <laughs> in the air. He is so clearly oh looking down. As soon oh as my he god! Around, he went like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Adam, I good. didn't want to say this, but I was there on a night when you forgot some of your lines. What? <laughs> the fear in Pally's eyes. I was there on a night where you were not. You were not stands. First of all, that you is remember impossible. That? that is impossible. That never happened Because I saw that once. I saw that improv training kick in a little bit. That never happened once. I knew every line, every cue. I never missed one. One time. One 
Uh-huh. One time uh-huh. there was violence. That's it. You weren't there that night. Just once. Just once. I don't think it counts. And it wasn't even Everyone violence. Everyone gets one. It was, Everyone what gets was one. It? If it wasn't violence. <laughs> What's close enough to violence? Yeah, but that you violence. can say as a generalization it's violence, and you say it's not really violent. I was trying to entertain. Uh huh. And always try to an audience people. member, an audience member, wasn't prepared to let me do that. Uh huh. That is hmm. such an interesting way to explain. Hmm. I love that. Hmm. The but you weren't there that night, George. Off. I would have known, George. Any time a celebrity comes, I told the box office send them to my dressing room right after. Yeah, mm-hmm. they they told me that, and I said, "You act like I wasn't here." Oh, that's cool. I'm not going to be manipulated by a pauper. <laughs> <laughs> send me to his wow. dressing room. <laughs> what are you going to do? Paint me, paint me like one of your French girls. George, yes. I have been nominated for a Critics' Choice Best Supporting Actor. Yeah, and you were robbed. You should have won it. You should have won it. You should have you won. Do not talk to me like that. Okay. I am a billionaire, we Adam, and I'm cool. 76 we years cool. old. This feels like a I understand. And I am. I may not. I may have you know issues Rachel's right. with liquidity. I, I, may have, like that I, may have, yeah. I may have liquidity issues with my finances right now, but that does not mean you can talk to me like that. When I call you a pauper, first of all, I can. But second of all, when I call you a pauper, you understand that you might be reasonably well off. It's okay. all relative. Stop taking pauses to, to smoke your pipe. I don't smoke a pipe. What are you holding in your hand? Nothing. Then what do you keep bringing up to your lips for I dramatic think. effect? No. I think. George? This? What is that? It is uh, just some seltzer in a Skywalker Ranch uh, fire department mug. Because you know we have a fire department here on the ranch. You want it on board. Rachel. Yes. How did Steve count you in? For, how did Steve count you in when it was t- when it was time to do a take in your mid song? Mm-hmm. What was the count in like? Mm-hmm. How did he count me in for in the middle of a song? Yeah, middle of a song. Yeah, like let's say you're doing a take. It's it's already part way into a song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For everything from the beginning of the song, right? Well, yeah, not every. Yeah, correct, correct, George. You're you're, you're onto it. Start playing. Yeah, I would honestly just start playing, and then we would just we would just come never, right in with that. He would never do like a one, a two, a one, two, three, anything like that. He'd be like a one, a two, a. Three? That's what how he would go. Really? And like, then what would would you start every musical number by saying, I love to sing about the moon and the June and the spring? I yeah. Yes. And then he would actually sing Anything Goes, a la style of <laughs> Temple of Doom. <laughs> like his beautiful wife Kate Capshaw. Yeah. Uh, he would actually any? sing I oh I did. I one of my first auditions. How was and Kate? I, I almost peed Kate. myself. I'm not even kidding. Is I that marriage it was, real? Yes, it is. They're very, they love each other very much. <laughs> what the question? That's such an interesting question. <laughs> uh, did Steve ever sing on set? Did you ever hear him sing a little bit? Did I he ever did. sing? In I voice did. Like him. He's got a beautiful voice. He won't say that he does, but he, he can sing. He's, a, he's got great pipes. I used to say that he could take my part. In the movie. I don't want that I don't to think happen. it's po- yeah, politically I, correct, not at all. Hang but on, hang on. I do want to see some fan art of that. Come on in case, now. In case anyone wants Come to make on it. now, let's do it. Yeah. Come on now. Should now wait, we, wait, were you we, wait, hold on, Patrick? Should we be singing more of this show than we are? I so think it, maybe. <laughs> um this Rachel, is were you in Hamilton? Along. I was never in Hamilton, no. Look at this. I auditioned many times. They never cast me. Excuse Look me. at that. Really? I'm someone, the key. Someone, I believe, found a real DC character named The Key who oh Rachel my God, was definitely I'm, playing. That's so funny. I did not know that, that existed. Am I terrible, like, DC employee? Oh, you're doing great. Right that exa- okay. Uh, now, Rachel, you want to get fired? 
Did you sing yeah. live on set or did you pre-record it and then sing with it? You know, I'm not sure if I can tell you. Okay, that's okay. Um, but I'm going to say it's going to be really exciting to see on December 10th. Great. It's going to be really exciting to see, I think. And then I'll, I'm so excited to talk about what we did. It also it, it feels it also really feels really good. It must feel really good to be able to, because of the delays and everything, to be able to promote. That feels like a reasonable uh, target for when you can promote a movie and tell people go to the theaters. Like the mm -hmm. hope is that it'll be oh, yeah. safe by then. Because up to now, I think a lot of actors have been in the uncomfortable position of being like, "Go see my movie in the theater uh, right now during the pandemic." Whereas right. The hope is that by December, there'll be a lot of safer ways to experience because people want to be able to see this on the big screen with an audience. And I hope so. That. Yeah, uh, I, that's my hope. I always, return. you know, I, I just, I so want everyone to experience it the way it was intended. And it was intended for a big screen and big speakers to hear the New York Phil play our mm -hmm. score. It's such oh. a, it's what, a beautiful what's, experience. What's Phil like? Did you get to meet him? <laughs> yeah, New York Phil. He actually, you know, I, I drive him, right. I would drop him five bucks on the corner on my way to work, and then when I'd come back, he'd have a Taylor ham, egg and cheese on a uh, everything bagel for me, and then I would go on to the dance studio, start rehearsing. Let's get some fan art. Find out. Some, some, let's get some fan art of there? New York Phil working. Yeah, on I, 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 I assume he took half my bagel because there was only half when I would. You know, five and bucks for half a bagel in New bill. York, Adam Pally. That's a lot of freaking money. <laughs> it, it is a I'm great question. How many, instruments, how many instruments do you have on, on, on your wall there, Adam? Those are all yours? No, my children. Uh, That's they, their guitars. You don't play guitar? That is everything to me, actually. A West Side story. Oscar oh. Isaac wishes. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I just circle back? Adam made a very funny joke three times in a row and no one acknowledged I, it. I wanted to hear I couldn't hear it. Rachel was talking about New York film, giving right. her the Taylor egg ham and cheese. Taylor egg ham, yes, correct. <laughs> and Adam said, did we ever figure out who's feeding film? <laughs> oh, Somebody Allie. should feed Phil. Somebody's got to feed Phil. Oh, let's get fan art of. Oh, someone somebody. just called me out being in New York. Phil. <laughs> now, North Jersey. Where, where, where are you from, Rachel? I'm from Clifton. I'm from Livingston. Oh my gosh! Neighbors? I mean, not really anymore, but not neighbors. Really, but <laughs> there we go. So, so do you call it Taylor Ham? Huh? Taylor Ham? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm just making sure we can be friends. Now, Rachel, I do think I do think that I don't West call Side it Story, that much because I'm Jewish, but yeah. Understood, understood. It yeah, it's always be... nice to call your Taylor Ham once a week, even if you don't have anything to say, just to check in, especially during these trying times. West Side Story might be the first movie I think to maybe make a hundred million in the U.S. in theaters, and Adam, I believe. Uh, 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 you know, post pandemic, but Adam, I believe you're that's your prediction. You're making that's a prediction, prediction to make that's this clear. Prediction. You said it with the confidence of a time traveler. Here's, <laughs> here's why I'm saying it is because Adam, you're in, I believe, the last movie to make a hundred million dollars in theaters. Correct. Mm -hmm. And nothing's done it in between. Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog, the really? last blockbuster. Really? No, yeah. you're the, and, you're no, the last one. Last, the last big hit pre-pandemic, and you were yeah. a part of it. And you know what I'm doing in my head, Adam? Mm. Are you I'm adjusting, adjusting, I'm adjusting your head even bigger. I'm adjusting, adjusting. I'm adjusting your big hit to make it an even bigger hit. <laughs> wow. I will say this. Now that we're talking about it, and I, I, I really, I haven't done this that often, you know. I mean, uh, it's nothing to do with to fall asleep, but like, I have been in a a couple of franchises that have made quite a bit of cash. I mean, I, I would love to know maybe if we have a numbers cruncher, just how much box office um, your my three franchises yeah. have been no, part don't, of. I mean, don't I don't know think, if there's a way to. Adam, don't think Waddle is on it. Waddle is on it. We are running Adam, the numbers. I mean, I don't know if there's a way to qualify that for the Mandalorian, though, because it's like a TV show when, you know what I mean? But. And I would love Watto, only counting movies. Only offer. counting movies. Watto, don't forget, Don't Think Twice made $4.4 .4 million. You could put that in there. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. What did it make overseas? Big Leah's Don't Think oh, Twice. That might have been a, 
Yeah, that one did yeah. really well overseas, though. Is there is there a way of factoring in how much money? Country. Actually, I think you're wrong, Patrick. That one did really well under the sea. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jordan. Watto, is sure. there a way of factoring in how much money? I think this is a fair way to do it. How much money Disney has made from Disney Plus? And attribute that to Adam because no, Disney no Plus way. is off the table. Neither of you get points for Disney Plus. But I don't think that that's necessarily that's fair to me or fair. George. That's not fair We're to either. Of movie. <laughs> We're talking theatrical movie. Yeah, but the pandemic changes everything. People are signing up for Disney Plus who would have otherwise been buying tickets to see things. That's Let's true. Mm, mm. let us define the rules here. Okay, are we talking worldwide or domestic? Or? Worldwide, worldwide. Ooh, worldwide. All, the, all the money, all and the are time. we talking unadjusted worldwide? Unadjusted, unadjusted. No, oh. adjusted. George, yeah. George. 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 yeah, Adam is on board now. He fully admits that uh, American Graffiti is one of the biggest hit comedies of all time. Adjusted, yeah, adjusted. is going to be sure. hard to do because yeah. I'm the like You just got oh, something. So, I guess go back to the, I'm the, I guess one the real way to do it. Let's take. Let's even take Star Wars out of it, right? Just, to, just so I can step. Why no, no. Out. You're telling George no! Lucas to take Star Wars out of it. No. <laughs> add up, add up my cube box. No. For Iron Man and Sonic. Just one second. Just me and Adam. Just me and Adam. Just me and Adam. Just one second. Adam, I like you a lot. But that is the one you. thing we never do. We never take Star Wars out of it. Bring me, bring everybody back. We never take Star Wars out of it. Yikes! Don't say Are you ready? Again. I can't do adjusted because IMDb fucked up box office motion. They don't have the same options. I'm doing unadjusted. Okay. Keeping, keeping Star Wars out of. Oh, it. oh thank you so much, Adam. Thank you so okay. much. Are we Where ready to begin? My Q box. I'm, I'm uh, here. We go. We're going to do this in real time, okay? Sonic the Hedgehog, good. Three hundred and twenty million worldwide. Nice. That's a hefty number. Okay. That's a hefty that's, number. That's, that's lunch money, okay? That's we're talking good. That's good amount. Lunch money. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I guess I was drinking up. That's a good. I'm sorry, George. Yeah. I guess the other night I catered a wedding with George Lucas Pinot Grigio. No, no, I'm sorry, the Francis Ford. Coppola Pinot Grigio. Oh, yeah, no, I, meant no, I meant no disrespect, Adam. I meant it's a lot of money. It's a good amount. Like we're buying, we're going out. Good. Lunch. Let's keep it's going. Good lunch. Yeah. Okay. Dog days. Six point eight million worldwide. Okay. We don't have to. No, no. We don't have to go into the weeds. I think. No, we don't we're have including to go everything. The, point no. of the it, little the hours. Point of what one point. We don't have to go. We don't. What was Band that? Band aid. The little hours. One point six worldwide. But we don't need to do this. this Independent movies that are made for a different reason than box office. <laughs> Band Aid, yeah. two hundred forty-eight thousand worldwide. That's not adjusted <laughs> for streaming. I think. I think what we're doing here is we're, we've theatrical. lost track of the real question. We're talking theatrical which here. Which is like you middle school, not all the movies. And middle like school, the worst years of my life, twenty-three. <laughs> So it's 23, 23 million, 23 million, 23 million, 23 million, 23 million. That's not what sneeze at. Hey, third the grandpa. I don't know a lot of actors. I don't know a lot of actors that can open a movie and carry it 23 million. Mm hmm. Dirty Grandpa? How much Dirty Grandpa water? Dirty Grandpa. 94. 94 world. 94 oh my God. million on carrying oh, the, with that geez. title. With that title. Because of that title. George, in spite <laughs> of that title. Because no, of in spite of that, nobody. Title. nobody I don't, I don't had, remember nobody, seeing nobody who bought a ticket for Dirty Grandma was like the title. I'm a little off on, but I'll watch the movie. A hundred percent disagree. They bought it and they were like Robert De Niro and Adam Pally in a small part. I'm in. No <laughs> matter the title. Right. There it is. What's next, Watto? I know I got a uh, a, a couple more. Is that yeah, it? Okay. Wait. Dirty, dirty, no, 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 no. We got the big one. Here we go. Ready? Dirty Grandpa, 94. Next up, this is big. Slow Learners, 22,000 worldwide. Okay. But that, no, no. But that, again, that was made for five 
75. Oh, so, and oh, so, so, the, the, so, so much the like thing. the cost much of the like thing. American graffiti, you have I to love adjust for a place. The hero's journey that you are going on in this is something that Joseph Campbell would look at and say, Yes, this is where you go. You go from laughing First of at all, the idea. I appreciate that. I love the Eagles. Secondly, you have to really look at inflation, like you were saying. You have to adjust. Patrick, while Watto is doing this, do you want to go ahead and tell us what the box office grosses are for West Side Story and uh, Shazam 2? Yeah. yeah uh, come on. Yeah, you, you do that, come Matt. On, baby. Give me Yahtzee, give me Yahtzee, give me Yahtzee, give me Yahtzee. We want, we want worldwide? I, worldwide? Pa- we want yeah. worldwide. Watto, have I crossed a billion? No, you are at 450, <laughs> but hold on. This one might really move the needle. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, uh, search party, 118,000 worldwide. Wait, I thought we Again. were counting TV shows. Different. Okay, okay. That, okay, that movie, that, that's technically not an Adam Pally movie. That's a TJ Miller movie. And so that movie did well. <laughs> that's an important <laughs> distinction. I mean. Um, I'm, that, I'm movie, say- that movie did well when a lot of people were saying no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Rachel! Did Steve ever t- talk about me when when you were working on the movie? Did my name ever come up? Oh yes, so often because he knows I'm a really big Star Wars fan. So we used to talk about you all the time. Did Steve? Do you have some hot takes about Star Wars? Yes, he does uh, have hot takes no. about Star Wars. Don't we all have hot takes about Star Wars? Rachel, what, Rachel, while Wado is adding, what's your hottest take about Star Wars that you're willing to say? Here. Oh it no! Not be your hottest, you but it can bail, be. You could bail her out if you get over a billion, Watto. Yeah, come on now, come on, Watto. Come okay, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. We're at with the to-do list. We are at four hundred fifty-four million three hundred sixty-three worldwide. That's pretty and good. I'm about, I'm about to add Iron Man three. Oh! So we're gonna get over. We're gonna get over. What? Come on, come on, come on, I, come on. Iron Man 3 alone is 1.2 billion. Woo! I'm sorry, 1.21 billion. Okay. Yeah, you're in the billion club with that movie alone, my friend. Oh, A win. Wow. But, wait, win. win. but here's the big question. Can you get the 2 billion? Ooh, the tubin. <laughs> George. Okay, so right now you are How at... How many billions? Let me ask you, George. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask George. Yeah. Oh, no, it's got a bad Let me chair. Ask you, George. I mean, <laughs> what it is. Every time on the show, the chairs are all fucked up. George? <laughs> yeah. George? Yeah. Let me ask you, huh? <laughs> Do you ever make a. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh. Oh. Now. <laughs> This now, also, what did we learn? People who don't know, this happened the last time Adam was on this stage show as well. <laughs> Ever make yeah. a billion dollars, George? Yeah. They paid me billions not to make Star Wars, not to make Star Wars movies. That's how many billions I make on things. Sometimes <laughs> I get paid billions to stop making Star Wars. But here's the thing. I never <laughs> okay. stop. I never stop. Mm-hmm. I've I been making Star, making Star Wars. I've been making Star Wars... This is just for myself. Ever since Disney took over, I've been just making my own Star Warses all the time. Have I ever of you been paid? Watto? Watto? <laughs> Could you do a, a box office check on Patrick? Patrick Connors? <laughs> box office? It's, it's not pretty. Hold on. I'm still working on you, though, Adam. I have to add 22000 for monogamy. <laughs> Uh, That's I not my it, movie. That on, is a Rashida on. Jones project. That is a Rashida Jones on, project that I was helping a friend on. I PA'd on It Comes at Night, and that made $20 million. Does that count? What did you do on it? I PA'd. I was a PA. Oh, I thought you said you PA'd. I was like, I don't remember any ballet dancing in that movie. I don't movie. remember any dancing <laughs> in that movie. Rachel. Rachel. Okay. Hang on. Rachel. I might count. I might count. Can I give the final (laughs) Adam count? Here we go. Go ahead. By my count, and I might have messed up, but I believe I'm close. One billion six hundred seventy-six 
468. That's pretty good. Come on wow. Now. Come on. Is that, now. George, besides okay. you, besides yeah. you, is that the <laughs> most box office that has been on this show? I don't know. I think Whoopi's uh, way ahead. Right? Whoopi's ahead. Come on, yeah. Sister Act. Come on, Sister Act. No way. Now I'm going to do no, the George. not have a billion. Whoopi does not have a billion dollar movie in her. In her she's, in, she's in Lion King. Excuse me. She's in Lion King. She's yeah. in Toy Story 3, baby. She plays Stretch the Octopus. Yes, she does. She's in Snow Buddies, Adam. Yeah. Fucking Snow Buddies. Whoopi. It's always Whoopi. Whoopi. The color purple? It's, Come on. Color purple. Bring it back. Bring it back to our buddy, buddy Steve. Steve. Yeah, she's got to be in some Star Treks. Yes, she's in several. Yeah. Rachel, tell me these hot takes. I want to hear a hot take. I want to get yeah. one. I, yeah. I'm going to do the George Matthews. The thing is, okay, you know what's so funny is that I'm not immersed in a lot of like conversation about mm -hmm. it. So I don't know if it's a hot take. I just know okay. that it's my take. Okay. Right. Can't stand the remaster. Can't fucking stand it. I'm sorry, George. George. The special editions? I just, yeah, I don't like, Ooh. I don't, I don't. I don't like it. I'm have sorry. you seen? Have you seen? Well, it's, which one have you seen? Did you watch it on Disney Plus? No. Okay, so you haven't seen the McClunky. Yeah, I've seen. You haven't seen. So should I? Should I do that? Are you recommending okay. it? No. <laughs> Rachel, it's the final I'm cut. Not, not recommending it. All right. It's the final there's, cut. A, there's a piece of me that wants you to go. I'm going to go get the time code. Can you bring it up and listen to it in your headphones? Absolutely, I can. I got one second. And, and while, while you get this I, prepared, I still am confused I, as how we qualify. How do we qualify the Mandalorian's earnings? We don't. <laughs> it's We're movies still here. only. Every, We're still here. I just don't think that that was an accurate. Like every <laughs> every single subscription, except for maybe twelve people to Disney Plus, counts as box office for the Mandalorian. I have another hot take. Well, then I've okay. I've, I've, I've just thought of it. Right. right. One of my favorite deleted scenes yeah. should have been in the full cut of Revenge of the Sith. Elevator okay. antics. Elevator antics. Elevator antics. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure beep is up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Where was it? What happened, George? It was Rachel too came to it play. Was too Rachel too came to fucking play. Yeah, play. I take yeah. no prisoners, Watto. It was unlike it, some people. <laughs> it was too funny. It was too. It funny. was too funny. Yeah. Come people, on now. No, we tested it. We tested it, and. Uh, by tested, I mean I showed it to Rick McCallum, and he he didn't stop laughing. He was still laughing when Padme died, and I was like, "We gotta, we gotta cut. It's too funny." Did he did he laugh at the dry cry? He did. Did Rick McCallum laugh at the dry cry? Yeah. Did he laugh? <laughs> wherever he is, Prague or wherever, sure. Yeah, he's out there laughing. I have a question. Mm -hmm. There is oh the dry cry in the movie, not your dry cry tonight. I I have yeah question. Mm -hmm. Great. There is concept art out there. Yeah. Padme's holding a dagger on Mustafar. What's mm -hmm. that about, George? Whitling. She has a hobby. This is a whole subplot that we cut out. Was that when right, she... I'm gonna head out. Yeah. Adam, I got to say, Adam knew what I was about to say. <laughs> what, what I was about to say is five billion seven hundred ninety-one million five hundred thirty two hundred. Yeah. Wait, hang on, George Watto. I know since Rachel's bringing this up, it feels like we're in a new, a new part of the show. Yeah. What? Is that okay? I yeah. feel like it's time. Yeah. yeah, I should also mention my ring light died for good an hour ago, <laughs> and I've been trying to fix it. I think it's just, that's what Watto gets for buying a fucking $40 ring light mm -hmm. month two of the pandemic. Hang on. Oh, and, let's, oh, yeah. and Patrick? Yeah. Thanks.
Ooh, ooh, ooh.